if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Yaga Yaga Yo, it's Anthony B and you're watching Aromatic Realistic TV and YouTube. Remember, somebody wanna plan they can hey, everybody wanna ring the band. But do you have a blame it on when is our next man you are depend on? Well, you wrong. Support, support, support the brother, support each other. Like, share. You miss it, not just watch and talk. Like and share it, man. Support. We have to help each other read somewhere. Help, helping and that's all we say. Aromatic to the world. Booba. Reality check man from a year device, and you know it's a unique one, aromatic realistic TV. Anyway, today, my viewers and subscribers, I see a trend is going on with the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And now the Prime Minister is at every church service. The Prime Minister is at those church services. The Prime Minister is at schools now. You know, telling children at school that he is our servant. You know, for, you know, it takes the Prime Minister eight years to make us, the Jamaican people, know that he is our servant. You understand what I'm saying? But remember, it was the same Prime Minister in Jamaica who sent soldiers and police for lack of. The prophet Peter Chambers, you know. Remember, Peter Chambers said he get a message from God for the Prime Minister. And when the man delivered the message, the Prime Minister sent soldiers and police at the man yard to lock him up in a jail. And don't forget, in the pandemic, the Prime Minister closed the door of all the church and threatened them. So if he catch one certain amount or he catch nobody in a church, he go charge them X, Y, Z amount of money. Who remember? Remember in, in the heights of the pandemic when everybody is going in a frenzy. It was the Prime Minister who closed the doors of the church. And on the other hand, it was the same Prime Minister grant a dance hall concert in Negril Dream Weekend for over 20,000 people. The Prime Minister of Jamaica closed the door of the church. The church where people would go for comfort. In the times of need, the world is in a friendly. People is dying, dropping right, left, and center in front of your own eyes and your TV. Everybody in a panic mood. So in this case, people would run into the church to get that comfort. But the Prime Minister of Jamaica take away that comfort from you. The Prime Minister of Jamaica take away that comfort from you. So in that time of distress, and in that time when you want to get more closer to your God, because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, people are dying right, left, and center. But the Prime Minister of Jamaica closed the door of the church and telling us every turn on the yard. And now to see every church the Prime Minister is at. Pastor now and church, you know, is giving this man. They all can't read Bible in a church. This man that does everything that he could to close the door of the church. Now him all over Jamaica in a church. But with any... Further ado, 
I am going to play the Prime Minister of Jamaica, quoting from Second Chronicle 7, from verse 12 to 20. So we are going to listen to the Prime Minister, and then after, I will dissect. Friends, the first lesson is taken from Second Chronicles chapter 7. Verses 12 to 20. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people. If my people were called by my name, we will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. That's the Prime Minister of Jamaica reading from the Bible in the church. Remember, you know, it was this same Prime Minister who closed the door of the church. But now he's in the church reading scripture. This man is wounded. Jamaica no one see him. So him all over the place with him photo up and his political stunt. But it is not working. But we going at the word. But we can't get biblical too. So we're gonna go into the words now. Second Chronicles 7. And he goes from verse 12 to 20. But I'm not gonna go to 20. I'm going to stop at 14 and 12. And it says, And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice. If I shut up the heaven and there be no rain or if I command the locusts to devour the land or if I send the pestilence among my people 14 and I want you to listen and listen here If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Let us go over back 14 one more time. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Mr. Prime Minister, you don't need to go down further, boss. You know, sister, that is a confirmation from Almighty God. Mr. Prime Minister, you don't have to go any further. Anybody who picked that verse or picked that scripture for you, 
that person is hearing from Almighty God. But that is a confirmation to you because you need to repent. Almighty God still want to give you a chance for all the wicked things that you have done to the people of Jamaica and the curse that you are brought down on the nation. Almighty God still want to give you a chance. The pastor who you send soldier and police they go lock up. Almighty God still want to give you a chance. When you close the doors of the church in the pandemic and you and I know when we go through our Red Seas, our midnight crisis, when our back is against the wall, when your wife left you, when your husband left you, when you don't have no money to buy food, you don't have no money to send a picnic them at school, and the whole world is like caving down on you, and you have no way out. The only comfort that we find at time is to find ourselves in the church. That is the time when Walipa will get baptized and saved. When the problem lick with right and it lick with left. And when we look right and we look left and we look behind and we look forward and we don't see no help. We are cornered and have nowhere to go. That's the time most of us choose the church. And in the time of the pandemic, when none of us know what is going to happen, when we watch our television and we see people are dying like a flies, And you take away the church from us. No, the church is where we would go. And let's talk about a Sunday morning when that praise and worship team hit that altar. And when they start to sing. And the presence of Almighty God will appear. And you lost yourself in the Holy Spirit and you drift away and all of your burden is like disappear and you find some relief within yourself not even that you give the people in the pandemic you take that away from them in spite of the worldwide crisis. In spite of the worldwide crisis. Our people was living in a frenzy. Because no one know what tomorrow may bring. And you take away their God from them. You take away their church and tell them to turn at them. And tell them to turn at them yard. The scripture that you just read, Mr. Prime Minister, is a confirmation from Almighty God. And the person that chose that scripture for you, that person is hearing from God. Because what it says, what it says, Jamaica. Because what it says, if my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Prime Minister, 
You know, see, see, you that go for. You know, see, see, you that go for. She and your ways, big man. She and your ways. You need to go repent. You need to go confess. You need to go confess. To sell out Jamaica to overseas interest, brother. You need to go confess for all the demon that you make possess Jamaica right now, brother. You need to go confess for the people them house while you go lick down, brother. You need to go and confess for the youth them rough while you cut up in the river. Prime Minister, Prime Minister you need to go and confess for the eagle of them, or you take with them clothes and them fruits and vegetables and make them get box and kick up in the street for municipal police and system. Prime Minister, you need to go and confess. This is a confirmation from Almighty God, and I said it before, and I am going to say it again. The person who chose. This scripture from you is hearing from God because this is a confirmation from Almighty God to you and your wholeness. This is a confirmation from Almighty God to you and your wholeness. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and see my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. So take sleep, brother. I'm a debt. But reminisce from verse 14. Second Chronicles 7. But reminisce from verse 14. You have just read your own confirmation that you need to go and repent. Almighty God still want to save your brother. Almighty God still want to restore your brother. Don't add your heart and stiffen your neck. Go make it right with the Jamaican people, them brother. The people them where you sell out Jamaica to brother. Go and go turn back the hands of time, brother. Go confess. Go and confess. The people them can't help your brother. You have to go find God right here. Now it's only God can help your brother. So by you moving from church to church and school to school, it is not going to help you, brother. If my people which have called by my name shall humble themselves and pray shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways humble yourself bro god humble yourself and your wholeness and turn from your wicked ways and make almighty god heal and bless the land of jamaica Bro, God, turn from your evil wheels. Go repent. Go and repent. Because the wrath of God is about to fall on you. You are getting the one in the sign is dear. Second Chronicle. Seven, 
verse 14. That's a confirmation from the most high God to you. Repent, 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 brother. For all the evil thing you have done to the Jamaican people and brought destruction upon our land. Almighty God still is giving you a chance. No stiff your neck and hard in your heart. Go repent so Jamaica land can heal back again, my brother. So that Jamaica land can heal back again. My brother. Eh? If my people. Which are called. By my name. Shall humble themselves. And pray. And see my face. And see my face. And turn from their wicked ways and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins. And will forgive their sins and will heal their land and will heal their land. This is a confirmation from Almighty God. Probably you read it and you don't know what you read because you may be reading it for your own benefit, but this was something is coming from God. And whosoever chose this for you, that person is hearing from God. Because this is a confirmation telling you that you need to go and repent. You need to go and repent for all the things that you have done to the Jamaican people. For all the things that you have done to the Jamaican people. God still now count your heart. He wants you to repent. So Jamaica can heal. We need to go and repent for what you did to Peter Chambers, that evangelist. You sent police and soldier for lack of Peter Chambers to tell you that him get a message from God for you. You sent police and soldier go lock up the past. You close the doors of the church and tell the people of God for turn of their yard. You close the doors of the church in the pandemic and tell the people of God for turn of their yard. Prime Minister Andrew Holness, the wrath of Almighty God is about to fall on you. But before he do so, he still let give you a chance because this is a confirmation if somebody sit down and tell you, the Prime Minister, you need to go. Mr. Prime Minister, you need to go and repent. It is not my word. It is the word of Almighty God. Is telling you that, but it is only a confirmation. It is only a confirmation for me to pass this out there so you can get the message. Because if the people them around your surrounding and your circle are afraid to make you aware or tell you that this is a confirmation that you're supposed to go and repent, I am not going to be afraid. I am not going to be afraid. I am not going to be afraid. It is my duty to make you know that. It is my duty to make you know that. 14. 
if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and see my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven then will i hear from heaven then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will forgive their sins and will heal their land prime minister wholeness this is a confirmation from almighty god that you need to go and repent for all the things that you has done to the jamaican people it is repentance 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 a confirmation brother confirmation brother you need to go and repent before the wrath of god start falling you know brother you are getting the warning take heed take heed and do what you have to do repent 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 anyway my people can't say me never warning are you read the scripture you know but when we go do my due diligence you know and it pan the verse there you know and what a verse did they tell me you know the verse is telling me you know so you need to go repent you need to go repent so that the nation can heal whatsoever you do to jamaica are you have to go back go free up jamaica whatsoever demon plot you tie up in a who you sell out Jamaican to? Are you have to go back go make it right? Are you have to go back go straighten it up? So this is a confirmation from Almighty God to you that to go and repent and you go repent and you go repent because if you don't, the wrath of God, the wrath of God. The wrath of God is going to rain down on you. Can't say aromatic. Never warn you. Anyway, my viewers and subscribers, remember to stay tuned to Aromatic Realistic TV. Like and share and follow us over YouTube. Remember to touch the notification bell. So each time I drop a video, you should be the first to know we tell them say a god and good road we tell them that no man is an island so therefore none of us can stand alone we tell them united we stand are divided we drop love your fellow man show them respect respect your command from me you should have that same decency within yourself to give someone else that respect struggle is real cannot get any realer
the signature word the signature word ah to love ah to love ah to love peace out repentance 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 brother is only you can do it because you know what you have done to the people of Jamaica and who you tie up in with your witchcraft. But when you go and you, you, you read the words of God and I see where you're reading from and I listen and I go back, it was a confirmation for you. It is all about repentance, repentance, repentance. I'm out.